Hey YouTube, so I know it's been a while, I'm going to have to end this video and try to catch you guys up, but basically after the first week of September, YouTube just didn't happen for a while because school was killing me. I've kind of got it together a little bit. I took a day off a couple days ago and made a vlog about that, so I'm going to use this video to catch you up. If you hear noise in the background, my husband is doing dishes, which yay, husband does dishes, but it's been a lot going on. I got the first two days of the school year vlogged. I'm about to share those with you and then catch you up on a little bit of what a little bit of what has happened since then because after that it just got so much harder but that's why I say it's a vlogging fail because I started but then I was just no and you'll see that when you see these so take a look hey YouTube I know I said I wasn't going to probably vlog this week that I would just do a recap at the end but I've just got to share it's Tuesday First day of school. Yesterday was Monday, Labor Day, so no school. Today there was school. And oh my gosh, that was just the worst experience. And I don't want to be negative. Because after, after the end of the day, my team and I met and we think we've got some stuff figured out. But just struggling through the day until we could meet and figure it out. It was horrible. Um, luckily, I mean, I was there and we have four teachers and three classes so there was an extra person who when there was needed help with those third graders since they're the youngest ones figuring everything out you know we were able to have two people in the room and work with them because that's also our biggest in-person class with seven in person but it is so hard to try to manage the in-person students and the online students answer parent questions who are sitting in on their kids zoom meetings and try to make kids in person behave at the same time because when they see you just looking at and talking to your computer screen even if they're logged into zoom too that they're not even aware that you're telling them what to do unless you have to look up and look at them in the room that they're just seeing a computer and it was just It was just so bad. It was so bad. And we were supposed to be doing diagnostics tests, we thought, and not all were ready. So then one of the teachers from the group who her tests were ready, she started. And then the rest of us were like, oh, the tests aren't ready. So we started on the regular daily schedule just interacting with the kids. And then when it met in the middle with that, we were doing two different things. And with the rotating and all, it just created a hot mess. So then after that, it changed the schedule for the day. I only got to interact with one and a half class because it was in the middle of my second class that we realized, oh, they're supposed to be testing. And I had to just be like, okay, new plan. I was wrong. Bye, guys. Even though it wasn't just me that was wrong, but it was the quickest way to do that. And have to go, okay, you guys have to actually get back on the other Zoom with your other teacher because you're supposed to be testing now. Oops. But you know what? We stayed positive with the kids and we're like, hey, it's day one. Accidents are going to happen. We're figuring this out. Be patient with us. But then having to struggle through the logistics of figuring out the day after the schedule was so wrecked. Um... It was just a hot mess. I feel horrible. Like I said, I have a great team, and once we sat down after school, we were done figuring it out within 15 minutes. We made a schedule for the rest of the week. We're ready to go. We're good and feeling positive, but it's like today was just a mess. Like, we were even like, okay, I'll write the schedule. I'm copying down what we're saying. Um, another teacher's like, okay, I'll write the letter to parents, explain them what's going on. Because one of our requirements on Friday was to send out the class schedule. So that made us, when the tests weren't ready, we were like, oh, well, if we sent out the schedule and the tests aren't ready, we must be following the schedule. And so it was, it was just a hot mess. But we got it figured out. I know I'm rambling. But y'all... Pray for the teachers who are trying to teach virtual and face-to-face -face at the same time. Just, wow. But on that note, 
I'm gonna go wish me luck tomorrow. So that was the first day of school and you can see it was pretty rough. Here is the second day. All right, YouTube, day two is done. So much better than yesterday. I'm still exhausted. We got testing straight, so kids did testing. I gave other people breaks and when it wasn't their breaks, I got some of my I guess you could call it like prep work and planning done, some organization on Schoology, getting their emails into their password sheets we made for them to go home, different things like that. So it was a good day, but oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. Just the high stress, constant feeling the entire time we're there is just wearing me down. So, and after school, I left as soon as I could so that I could go to the bank because I needed to do that and get some stuff done and then run a couple other errands. So now I'm back at the little greenhouse and I am going to, well, I was going to do yard work, but it poured rain, so that's not going to happen anymore. I am going to take a shower, cook dinner all that kind of thing and go from there. I do have some work I want to get done tonight. It's not required to be done tonight, but it's just if I can get this done and not have to think about it anymore, I think I'll do that or at least I'll piddle around and work on it until Alex gets off, you know, so but not like stress about it or anything because the way everything worked out, I had plenty of time today to get some stuff done. So I'll keep you posted. So as you can see, those first couple of days of the school year were pretty rough. Um, I think in that second video, I mean it's been two months now because while I'm filming this, it's November 1st and I think I was crying that second day on the way home. I kind of look like I have been. I don't rightly remember, but I do know there have been definite days where I have cried. Um, coming home from work, there have been days I've cried going to work because I, I'm not pretending it's glamorous right now, you guys. It has been a rough first couple of months this school year, and I know if I'm experiencing it, then other teachers are experiencing it, and I'm not going to sugarcoat that or pretend that it's easy or that I bounce back and everything is okay. It is not okay. I'm doing my best. A lot of the things have gotten better. Um, there's been some pretty good parent communication this year, I think. There's also been some areas where we've struggled and not realized it until too late, but you know, we're, we're making it. But the school year has been rough and because of that, I took a break from YouTube unintentionally because YouTube is something that I enjoy doing and it helps me process and get over stress. It's just that because I've been so exhausted and having to do so much work to make it work that when I get home at night I'm exhausted and just fall asleep on the couch basically because I can't do any more than what I'm already doing and then when the weekend comes it's do everything that needs to be done around the house or get groceries or the yard or cleaning or cooking or if I'm going to get to see my family at all it has to happen then and because the week it's nearly impossible I've been leaving like 536 every night um, so yeah a lot has just been going on and it has been hard now that being said I've got some coping mechanisms that are helping me get through it a little bit I've started to do a little bit better and I think I'm going to do another video about how I'm taking care of myself mentally right now to be able to get through all of this oh that's the other thing by the time I get home at night I've already stared at the screen for eight hours, nine, ten hours a day. So by the time I get home, it's like, okay, my eyes are literally tired and I don't feel like hardcore editing. I've got several videos that I filmed or done partially throughout this time, but it's just the actual staring at the screen anymore I'm too tired to do. So that's my break from YouTube. It was not intentional. It's just, it hasn't happened. Like I said earlier on, I took a day off to give myself time and I'm not the only teacher. Take your days off. 
don't feel guilty about taking your days off. So we, I coordinated with my team to make sure we didn't all take the same day off or whatever, but we took turns of being off. And that helped me, it gave me a lot of clarity. And this was just October 22nd was the day I took off. And that was so good for me to think about YouTube, to work on it a little bit. I did a teacher day off vlog, so that'll be coming out soon. And just really find the joy of doing YouTube again and that it's not just work, it is something that I do for fun too. So, all that being said, I made a couple notes because I didn't want to forget. Um, because there were, in spite of all the busyness, there were some good things that happened. So, like any teacher, tons of sticky notes just everywhere of all the things for me to remember. But, um, some good things really have happened. These won't necessarily all be videos, but we've started, my husband and I, a tradition. Every Friday, we're just doing, like, a tortilla pizza. One day I'm going to do maybe a cooking with Kathy for that one, but seriously, just tortilla, marinara sauce, what cheese we have, any leftover meats or sandwich meats or pepperoni, whatever we want, and just put it on under the broiler for like not even five minutes, and it's been an easy dinner. We haven't completely lost date night then before I fall asleep on the couch. Y'all think I'm joking, but it's true. It's a nightly routine now. Um, but we started doing that. On Sundays, we usually do a good breakfast with like muffins or pancakes or different things like that, bacon, and just like enjoy the morning together. So these are things that we're doing that are good too. It's just tiring. We did, for Halloween, we carved our pumpkins together for the first time. So there's a lot of good things going on. It's just the getting to share it out with you guys hasn't been happening. But because of that, I do have a couple other things that are coming up. Some videos that, like I said, I've been filming that I want to share with you guys. Once we went to, it was towards the end of September, we went to a lake house with my husband's sister and her husband and his siblings as well and we had a great time doing like s'mores and my husband started kayaking and I've got a video I'm going to show you about that um, to cheer me up. My husband has also, whenever he makes the bed, he's been taking my teddy bear that I've had for years and years and years and just posing her in random positions on the pillows, like walking, leaning, all these things. So I'm going to do a video and show that to you guys one day. I learned to make bread. So I have a cooking with Kathy coming out about baking bread. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's been good. We've still maintained our date nights, although they're not always necessarily on Friday. Sometimes we'll just do the pizza and we'll count that as a date night. Other days it will be more of, like we'll still do the pizza, but then on Saturday we'll actually make an effort and cook something a little bit nicer and things like that too. So yeah, it's a lot of good things. Um, trying to think there's a couple other things to show you guys just things that have gone on oh the, these aren't things that'll be a video but they've been fun for breast cancer awareness my school did a pink out day so we all dressed in pink and we had the kids come by in a caravan and get like little goodie bags and things like that we also had a movie character week where we could dress up there was one day I dressed as Mystique from X-Men and just did the blue face and everything. I'll put a picture at the end of the video hopefully for you guys to see. Um, for Halloween, that's actually the anniversary of when we started dating. So this year marked six years and we did, made a day of it. We went with his family to a fall farm day and took our niece and she got to play and see all the animals and get candy and all that good stuff. And then we went to a Brazilian steakhouse for dinner. So there will be a restaurant review coming out about that too because we really enjoyed it. But yeah, there's a lot of videos still coming up. A lot of things I pre-filmed even back in the summer. I did a closet organization. That's going to be a video. So there's a lot of things coming out. Be on the lookout for all those things. And even though at the beginning of this video I was very blah, 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 blah. 
it's not all been bad it's just been busy so like I said I'm coping I don't know some days if I'm going to make it but I'm trying it's been a lot but it has gotten better um, and I'll share more about that in a later video that's more specifically about school this was more of a life update but school was part of life but I will do another video about how I'm coping both while I'm at school while I'm at home and just things you can do um, like I said parent communication has been big so I'm also going to do a video about things teachers want parents to know as far as especially as far as communication goes so lots coming out let me know any content you want to see or questions you have so far about the school year especially about hybrid teaching because what we do is we have the in-person children and we have the children online teaching the same lesson at the same time so if you've got questions about that let me know but I've been rambling for a while over nine minutes so it is time to go and that's just this clip you guys remember to like comment share subscribe ring the bell do all the things and so long from the little greenhouse